Hey hey guys, Adam here with another technical video. In this video, we will compare the BF109F4 and the 109G2 drop in speed, climb, turn, roll, and overheating to see which aircraft is the best for random battles, regardless of BR. Without further ado, let's get testing! First off, how are the F4 and G2 drop different? The F4 is lighter while the G2 chop has more engine power. Additionally, the chop variant has a sand filter to protect against the coarse, rough sand that gets everywhere, increasing the drag on any tropical variant compared to its standard version. On the stop speed as a function of altitude graph, we see that the F4 in blue is faster than the G2 chop in red at all altitudes by 10 to 15 km per hour until 6 km and reducing to a 5 km per hour advantage at high altitude due to the G2 drop conserving more engine power at high altitude than the F4. The F4 is clearly the faster aircraft and wins in the speed category. The next category is climb rate. The F4 is lighter while the G2 drop has more engine power but also more drag, so it's difficult to tell which one climbs better without testing. Climb rates were tested at 1 km, 4 km and 7 km of altitude. The climb rates are essentially equal at 1 and 4 km, with the F4's climb just barely higher than the G2 chop's climb by 0.1 meters per second. However, the G2 chop pulls ahead significantly at high altitude. The F4 and G2 chop climb equally well at low and medium altitudes, and the G2 chop climbs better at high altitude. The G2 chop barely climbs better than the F4 overall. Next up is turn. Both aircraft have the same wing area, so the lighter plane will have the turn radius advantage, which is the F4 in this case, as you can see on this turn radius graph. Lower turn radius also helps get a lower turn time, but the G2 chop's power advantage should help it compensate slightly for its bigger turn radius. However, it's not enough to beat the F4 in turn time, with the F4 having a sustained turn time of 16.9 seconds, compared to 17.5 seconds for the G2 chop. The F4 turns better than the G2 chop in both turn radius and turn time by about 4%, which is enough of a difference that the F4 pilot should never lose a dogfight against an equally skilled G2 chop pilot. As for roll rate, there are no changes between both airframes that would modify their relative roll performance, and indeed their rolls are essentially identical at 400, 450, and 500 kms per hour, with the variations explained by the testing precision. To compare overheating, I measure the time it takes for both aircraft to get to flashing red temperatures when on 0% radiators and WEP, and taking a longer time to overheat is better. The F4 overheats in 117 seconds, and the G2 chop overheats in 114 seconds. More extensive testing would be required to fully compare overheating between aircraft, but this test should be enough to say that there's no significant difference in overheating between these two aircraft. In conclusion, the G2 chop only barely wins in climb rate, while the F4 has the significant top speed and turn advantages, while being lower in BR, making the F4 clearly the better BF109 to fly. However, only the G2 chop can load the 20mm gun pods, which are way better than the 15mm gun pods of the F4, so if you want to load gun pods, then the G2 chop is the better choice for you. Were the results of this comparison surprising to you? Let me know in the comments! Thanks for watching!